If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would recommend doing it. I am building a whole playlist for CodeSignal. Hacker Rank is already very much complete and I am just posting them every single week. So today we're going to be talking about check palindrome question, which is part of the easy questions. Let's get going. Like always, I've got a Jupyter Lab on the right side of my screen and I've got CodeSignal platform on the left side. Jupyter Lab will help me solve the questions and explain it to you. Let's see what the task is. Given the string, check if it is a palindrome. If you don't know what a palindrome is, click on that link and it will tell you that, for example, the word I is a palindrome because there is E, Y, E. Or the word noon is a palindrome because there is N, O, N. So if you read it from that side or that side, you will be reading the same word. Before I hit this task, make sure you are on Python 3 because I'm teaching Python here. If you're not on Python 3, click on that pen sign and click on Python 3. I'm already there. And then we will define a function that will perform this. But this is a very easy task. Think about how the human brain works. The human brain looks at this word, A-A-B-A-A, -A -A, and understands if you read it from this side, which is A-A-B-A, -A -A, and from that side, A-A-B-A-A, -A -A -A, they are the same. Can I get Python to do the same thing for me? Let me see. Um, my string equals AABAA. -A -A -A. And if I show you my string, every one character at a time, it will print AABAA. -A -A -A. In Python, you can do the opposite. You can read from the end to the beginning. If you haven't seen my video on strings, the link is up the top right. If you want to read from the back to the front, all you need to do is to add a minus sign right there. And you will see you're getting the same thing. But let me show you in a probably different example. My string number two, I'm just gonna word to use the word apple. And I'm gonna show you that my string number two, if I go from the front to the end, it will be like this. And if I go with a minus sign, you will see that I have ELPPA, so it works. All I need to do right now is to write a function that checks if I read it from front to the end and end to the front, they are the same thing. If yes, then say this is a palindrome. But let me make sure what the task is asking me. It says, check if it is a palindrome and what type of output are they expecting me? The output needs to be a Boolean value. So if you don't know what Boolean values are, the link is up the top right, but essentially I need to say true or false. If it is a palindrome, say true. If it's not, say false. I know that I will be returning because this is a function. If you haven't seen my video on functions, link up the top right. And I will return if the input string, when I read it from the front to the end, equals the input string when I read it from the end to the front. This will either return a true or a false. Let me run the tests. Yep, it tells me that 10 out of the 10 tests were run successfully. I will go ahead, click on submit, and it should work. Yes, it is correct. So I don't wanna provide any feedback. Sorry, code signal, I re don't really have any time for it. I have solved three of the three questions. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, like this video if you did like it, and leave a comment with your questions. I'm happy to help you.